for the first time so uh here this is how the box come looking i'm not even going to throw away this box because this is what i'll be using to store it uh somewhere because it doesn't fit in any of my cabinets so this is what we are going to be using now i've already removed it from the box it's right here here okay, it is we want to toast bread for our breakfast still very early in the morning it's really packaged really well in such a way that it wouldn't break so we are also going to store these ones hmm? It's a paper that's like wrapped around it, but I'm not going to remove it. It's just gonna stay like that. This is 67 centimeters. 67 centimeters. It also comes packed in this, which is the towel that you plug into. Yeah. So my camera is back. Can you see the difference in quality? Anyway, my camera is back. It was in the car and I didn't want to wait, so I sent my dog. So yeah, we are going to record using the camera. Let me show you an up close of how the grill looks like, like really up close. So here is the grill. This is an up close. Looks really huge, and I've already plugged plugged it in there so what you need is to start with the list um, okay it's on so that's how you own it to off it you just rotate so we'll start with the first setting and then go uh, accelerating if I need to yeah and it has already started getting hot from what I see here okay it has already started focusing yes and it has started getting hot right here okay it's really hot and then here we have bread which as I said we are going to taste really hot and I have butter which is what we're going to use this is just normal butter They need the brush. Okay, I'm hoping it's going to work. I hope I'm not doing too much. more 
Am I the only one that doesn't like this part? Let's cook some eggs as well and I hope it's going to really work. as well. And now I guess since it's granite, you're not supposed to use metallic things on top. Otherwise, otherwise it will guess done I mean uh, you'll destroy it so we are just going to be careful not to This is how we are looking like so far. Okay, not too bad. I've put in the highest setting. See how it's going to work. See my first bread is already toasted. Okay, the second one. What about the third? Let me turn it. Okay, this one is also toasted. I'm gonna try to reduce this setting. And I can also see my eggs, some need to be turned like this one. And this one. So this one's not yet as the, I don't know. I guess you can do this so that it cooks evenly. You need to add some butter as well. toasted this is okay the egg is done second egg is also done so here what we just formation but can always push it. But it's also very non-stick, so I'm going to add some butter here and some butter here. 
And also check on the reds. Not done. It's almost done. This is done. But I'm gonna wait for some more color. This is, this is almost done as well. This one is not yet done. So then Since it's non-stick to clean it, you just need something wet. And then that's it. So to clean is really easy. I just went in with a damp uh, kitchen towel. And then this, this is a dry one that I'm using so that I can wipe anything off and my grill is super clean. Yep, and then now it's just ready to cool down and then store it back. I think this is such a lifesaver. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back. I think I haven't said that. I've, uh, it's what? It's 9.23. I'm currently headed out. I need to go and start prepping for my travel. So this is more of a travel prep vlog so yeah stay tuned so that you can see everything that i do to get started for this travel journey but i need to get i have a nails appointment today this is how bad they look i need to get this hair braided because you can't go to china i don't want to carry so much like gels stuff like that i, I don't need that right now because it's when you're there it's more of a business kind of a trip so it's not more of it's a business kind of a trip so I need like whenever I shower I just get ready wear clothes and then out of the door that's the that's what happens usually it's nothing fancy so yeah I'm just getting ready to go and start my prep like getting the nails done my hair done I actually don't even know what I'm gonna do for my hair but I bought braids yesterday so I'm now ready. I have failed to mention that I need to carry my passport to go and book a ticket as well today. Um, passport. And also, I'm not sure if I need to update my vaccination card because you need this when traveling. So I'm here to also do that. So I'm going to carry both in town and see if they'll tell me to go and, I don't know, maybe update or get a new one. I don't know. So yeah, I'm now ready. Now just wearing shoes. I have also sprayed the perfume that I had on yesterday, which is the uh, Santal. And I think at this point, I am ready. My jewelry, everything. Yeah, and then I'm going to carry this hood because it looks like it's going to rain later on. I also have an umbrella. So I'm gonna see you. I don't know if I'm gonna take you in town with me, but yeah when doing this i probably will so let's go so that you can also see the designs that i'm going to do but i'm not going to carry my my camera because it's dying on me the other battery is charging this battery i think it'll chopper or something so i also i'm also very proud that i'm going there 
because um, I'll be able to probably get either a new camera or get some batteries and charging whatever whatever for the camera because yeah I am super super pumped and blessed <laughs> as well so yeah let's go to town and then do all that today is actually the next week today is on monday and i've just had a lot to do um we are we did our hair on friday and uh, this is the color i decided to go with and i think this color is like bomb 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 and then today i just done my nails and yeah not sure if you are going to see but this is the nail design that I went with which uh, honestly I think these are the best nails that I've done this year last year I had some bomb ones but this year this is the best so far I also did my nails for my my toes <laughs> um, so I want to unbox this one as I tell you where we are at with the Jesus so yeah this is my big girl purchase of the year <laughs> last year it was the pots and the juicer the juicer came last year yeah it came last year the blender I've had so many big girl things that I was so excited about but this is also another one which I was excited to get as well this one if you're interested it goes for 13.5 at the shop we have it in the shop and i've unboxed it the other way this is how it's done. sorry so this is one of the best purchases that we've made this year you have the manual this is the manual and it's in english which is a good thing because the video I think that I sent guys it was in Chinese it's a Chinese make but really good so we have okay this came right here okay we have this one I guess this is where you screw on the wall to store it I'm not sure I'm gonna see I also don't know how it's supposed to work we have the the battery then we have the mopa yeah pachini and you can remove okay this is the other one so i guess this is where you turn it on and off blah 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 and then we have this one to vacuum your seats stuff like that we have this to mount this thing it has holes here and here you mount with this okay then we have this one which is now the roller yeah pochini and then 
I guess you're supposed to How should this be? I don't know. I'll figure it out in just a bit. And then we have this part. Okay. This part looks like this. We have the handle. Which is a good size. We have this other one. Oh, okay, okay. So this one, if you press it down, it's supposed to... How did I do it? Okay. If you press it down, it's supposed to vacuum and then uh, if you press this part and then you can brush and then... I don't know, but you get it. This part. I hope it's recording. And then we have the charger. This is the charger that it came in. Ooh, okay. And that's about it. So we are supposed to now connect. I don't know which, which one is supposed to start. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we were talking about um, getting a visa, which we got last week. You saw that in the video. And then um, we have booked the tickets today. So we are finally going tomorrow, which is such a plus for us. We have been praying and waiting for that visa for the longest now. Well, not for the longest, but... Um, We've been waiting for the visa for some time now. And we are quite happy that it's finally happening and we are traveling to China in a few days. Well, tomorrow, which is, yeah, in a day or so. <laughs> and so that that is a plus. Actually, actually, I don't know where I need to start. So let me read the, read the manual and then see how you're supposed to connect it because we have the manual so we have them right here let me read and connect and yeah so I'm, I'm here to park because parking I'm gonna park very lightly but I need jackets because I hear it's very cold for shopping we will go to shop fair usually when you're traveling to China you try to minimize your luggage when you're going because you're going to find that clothes they are so cheap usually clothes are so cheap and that is it's not even a joke you may go there and find that this top is like 200 bob so for you to get clothes to wear for like two or three weeks it's very easy and you can still wash your clothes the clothes that you you've bought now to continue wearing in the course of the of your stay there depending on how long you're going to stay so how much did it cost for us to get the visa uh, to get the visa it cost us um, 8,150 they're about in the Chinese visa center uh, to book the tickets tickets were about they were expensive that I'm not going to lie they were going for an estimate of 180 per person 180,000 per person and then getting the passports because you of course need a passport to travel with it's uh, around 60 50 we got the 50 pages that's what I got and uh, you haven't booked the rooms per room because it's Canton fair this week and next week 
It's Canton Fair and things are very expensive there. Normally it would have cost us about, um, I don't know where my phone is. <sighs> Normally it would have been cheap, like around 200 yuan per room, which is around, we multiply by that, which is around 3800. But they are expensive right now. In Guangzhou, we are going to pay at least, they are very expensive. I don't know if I can show you a message from one hotel there, which, oh, they told me it's 510 yuan. 510 yuan, when you multiply, that is per person, per person. When you multiply by, let's say, uh, the exchange rate you find that the room is this much but we found an airbnb which will charge us about 200 and uh, i think 250 there about it's not past 300 yuan so when we multiply it's coming to around half the price so we are going with the airbnb we will be in guangzhou for a few days and then head to yivu rooms in yivu uh, they told us the one that I got is the hotel that we've stayed before with my sister. Remember, initially before I went, initially when I went to China, uh, all the times that I went there, which is about six times, we were staying. My sister used to live there. She she no longer lives there. So right now, I have to pay the hotel. I'm a Airbnb anyway. For Yiwu, because she doesn't, she never lived there. We had to stay in rooms and uh per room i spoke to that person today per room it's um oh yeah i have already booked i have chat with them and i have booked it for a week after we've stayed in guangzhou and then go to yiwu and then another week we will be back in in guangzhou so that now i can come back i mean i'm going to leave my sister there for a few more days so here, uh, we were told the room is around 260, but that's after like the Canton Fair, we, well, it's still around the same time, but that's after the Canton Fair, that means so many people are now leaving, so the hotels will have got, gone down, and uh, it's 60 times around 5200 per person yeah that's how much we no this we are going to share the room it's both me and her this price which is a little cheaper which is yay good for us but there's another hotel that i asked which was so expensive but if i went on days that not the day that i booked two days pre um like two days before the day that we are now going like let's say we are going on Wednesday, if we had gone on Monday and Tuesday, it would have been so expensive, double this for the same same room. So we booked for the day that we thought the rooms would be cheaper, which is great for us. Anyway, so yeah, that's about it. Now that's minus the transport, minus the food that you're going to eat there, minus uh, shopping, of course, and yeah. That's how much guys are paying right now to travel to China, which is a lot. Before Kitambo Kitambo Kidogo, before COVID, this would have been probably half the price of what we are paying today because tickets then would have been around 60,000. 60, that is true way. Um, depending on the airline that you're using, we, we, we are going to use uh, KQ but that's another story for another day i'm not going to explain in this video so if you use china southern you pay around um 900 and something 900 and something us dollars if you use uh kq it's around 180 as i explained but that's when we checked online you can always find this this information online and if you use um Ethiopian Airlines that I haven't checked. I know those three go to China by Yun Airport. That's their last stop. So yeah, that's about how much you're going to use or spend when you're going to China. I hope that information helps. So yeah, let me connect this thing, figure it out, and then come back and show you how it's 
supposed to vacuum and then we end the vlog and then tomorrow come back for a travel vlog since we are traveling to china oh my goodness yes let me connect this first so i've figured out the first one you're supposed to connect the battery first and it's actually working that's why you tell that something is good wait um so should one hold it like this. Number one here. So number two, connecting the cord. Number two, and then number three is here. Okay, oh, it's heavy, it's so heavy, but oh my goodness! Oh, yes, my vacuum is getting hmm, assembled quite nicely so we go to number four okay let me figure it out first so i've just figured out the other part is installing this one but now you have to open this part right here first I'm not sure if you can see it but i can zoom it in and then you open it it goes up and then you insert the roller and then you close and then secure it You open and then you secure it and it won't move. So what's the next part? And then here you come and insert this one. Okay, I figured out where this one is supposed to go. You see here, this is where this one is supposed to go. Um, how did I insert it? Okay, like that wipe something on the floor like water this is the one that is supposed to wipe so you're supposed to have something like this hapochini and it's also very easy to remove and wash i hope that's all you need to do so after that so and i'm guessing that's it and then this one I'm not so sure. Okay, this one is supposed to hold it on uh, the wall and then you drill. So when you want to use it, you just disconnect here. So yeah, we have that and that's about it. So these ones are, you can just remove this one here, Pochini, and then use this instead or use this. But what is this for? I guess when you need to use just one, I think, because from here, yeah, this one you're supposed to have it turned off 20. Number 20 electric dust, my removal brush. This is that. You can remove dust or might with this. So, yeah. And what number is the other one? Okay, it's supposed to look like that, from what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and that's it. We have our vacuum, but now before we use, we need to charge it. Because you're not supposed to use any electric gadget when you haven't charged. So let me charge it. And then we will yeah this is what i'm going to always use 
from now on so you just plug it in here and then this one to the power and then you're good to go so you just use this to vacuum your home yeah. yeah this is worth it if you ask me it's quite huge and lovely and all that so yeah i'm gonna leave end this video here i'm cooking in the kitchen i don't have the kids with me because they are as i said i took them to their grandmas over the weekend they are quite happy I spoke with them today as well we video call every day so that's okay they are doing just fine so let me keep these ones some place where i know i remember where i kept them and yeah thank you so much guys for watching i hope you come along uh with me along uh this journey to china let's explore let's see what we can find i'm actually not even going because i need to buy so many things but i'm going to get more suppliers because after covid things really changed for almost every supplier some are not working some that i sent some orders uh i don't know they changed shops so i really need to go there and look for their shops look for more contacts to help guys when uh, starting their businesses so like this video share comment and subscribe if you haven't and yeah thank you for watching bye guys